I negate you, but you can negate me. So Dragon King's Aura is a counter trap card which means that only other counter trap cards can negate it and it reads you can only activate a card with this card's name once per turn. When your opponent activates the effect monster uh, of a monster on the field, negate that activation and if you do destroy that card, then you can apply the following. So banish one monster from your hand and if you do special summon the monster that was destroyed by this effect and sent to the graveyard to your field, but its effects are negated. So again, right off the bat, this card is a spell speed 3 that is very similar to Solemn Strike, meaning that it can't really be easily negated. So it is really good in tandem with cards like Torrential Tribute or Needle Ceiling that have been shown to be very good in Eldritch, going second especially against decks that can make a lot of negates, such as Drytron with Herald of Perfection, Herald of Ultimateness back in the days when Ava was still alive. Basically, people were going set 5 pass against Drytron, and they were kind of trapping the Drytron player by going Torrential Strike, and now that uh, we have this card, this combo might actually be a little more possible in the future. However, there are some differences with this card and Salem Strike, they're not quite the same. First of all, this card has no life point payment, which is actually a good thing because in game 3 or in time or whatever, or in the grind game, it means that you won't really have to risk uh, dying even more, and you can use this at all time, basically. Unfortunately though, it is a once per turn, so if you draw it in duplicates, it's not as good as if you drew multiple Solemn Strikes. And on top of that, it only negates monster effects on the field, so you cannot negate hand shops, cards that actually trigger from the hand, or cards that actually trigger in the graveyard, such as the Pranked Monsters. And of course, it is not like Solemn Strike, as in it has the ability to negate summons, it only negates monster effects. So maybe we should actually compare this card a little more to Divine Wrath, which I actually want to say this card is probably the officially power crept version of Divine Wrath, objectively better than the card. However, Divine Wrath is definitely worse than Solemn Strike, and this card is still worse than Solemn Strike, but not by a super long shot. But yeah, Strike is actually pretty good against cards like Chaos Dragon Levineer that banish Thunder Dragon Monsters to chain block its effect, whereas this card can't really do that, so sometimes you are a little bit at your opponent's mercy. However, the second effect of this card is actually pretty interesting, and I can think of a few decks that could uh, kind of abuse the fact that you have to banish a monster from your hand, such as a Thunder Dragon being able to trigger the effect of Roar or Dark in order to revive back an opponent's monster to your field. Obviously, the effect is negated, but it can still be used as a beat, uh, beat stick. Or if you could actually find a way to Book of Moon your own monster and then flip it, it's going to regain its effect because it'll no longer be negated by the drawback of Dragon King Zora. And of course, you can play this card in other niche or strategies such as maybe zombies with Shadowy Spirit Master or Dinosaur with Giant Rex, just some random monsters that actually trigger their effects when they're banished but nothing too huge because I actually think Eldlich would be the best deck to play this card in. So yeah, in conclusion, this card is absolutely fantastic, and I really do recommend people to play this card in trap-heavy strategies, especially moving forward in the world of negates that we live in. This card is going to really help you going second if you are playing the, those trap decks. Again, very nice in combination with Torrential Tribute. Maybe on its own, it might not be the best. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't really do enough if you can't use the second effect because you're playing way too many traps, then it just feels like a worse Solemn Strike. That's not what I'm trying to debate against because I am agreeing on the fact that it's worse than Solemn Strike So I would be playing three Solemn Strike before I would play my first copy of this card Regardless of the deck that I'm considering playing this deck in but still something to keep into consideration So that's pretty much all I had to say for this video Let me know your thoughts on this card in the comment section below as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace